Hey guys, Rick Shaw here. I just got back from the VA and finished up lunch a little bit after noon. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do something a little different. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start rating some of these cars I go in because they pick me up on Lyft all the time. And I've been in, you know, it's always a different car. And uh, so I'll tell you about some of the cars. Maybe if you're going to buy a car, maybe I can help a little bit. I don't know. But uh, I've been in these today going there. I went in one of those tracks, Chevrolet tracks. And I was in one of them once before. That is a vehicle. You couldn't give me one. That thing is like riding on a buckboard. Uh, they're horrible. And they when there's a place we go around 71 when we're in a curve and right in the apex of the curve, there's a bump. And this thing was just all over the place. It just wasn't wasn't solid on the road so not not a good <laughs> I, w I wouldn't have one it's just beat the heck if you got bad kidneys it's going to beat the hell out of them there's no doubt about it but uh, the, uh, the last time I went I got picked up in a Hyundai Elantra hybrid and uh, to and from it was different different guy driving on each one but it was the same same car basically. Now that car right there, I would I would absolutely one hundred percent buy one of those. I wouldn't even think twice. If if I was going to get a new car, I think I would go straight down the Hyundai dealer and buy one of those. I think it was they they ride nice, they handle well, they're nice looking, and it was really cool when you're in traffic. The mo the motor's off. You're running just off an electric motor to do your stop and go stuff, which which is pretty pretty cool. That's real cool. But uh, another car I was really surprised at that I thought was going to be a horrible ride. And I was thinking, man, you know, this thing doesn't look good at all. But uh, I was in a, it was a Cadillac um, SUV, a small one. It was actually, I, I wish I could remember the number. Or, you know, it, it didn't have a name. It had a number on it was its, was its thing. And uh, I wished I would have wrote that down or something so I could tell you what it was but it was a small Cadillac SUV and it had 20 inch rims on it and I'm looking at that thinking oh crap and get, getting in and out of the back was for me as big as I am difficult at best you know to get my legs in it's just the, the back door hole was just way too small from front to back but I got in and I thought boy this thing's probably gonna ride terrible and uh you know, because those big wheels and all that stuff. But I was amazed at that one, how quiet it was. Uh, super, just super duper quiet. Once you were inside, you were like isolated from everything outside. And the thing rode beautiful. I mean, it just bumps. You know, it's like, what bumps? So that was pretty cool. But as I as I ride in these cars on these vlogs, I'll, I'll let you know a little bit about what I, what I think on them anyway. Another car we were thinking of getting was like a Toyota Camry. And I've been picked up in like three or four of those already. Those are That's a pretty popular car. <clears throat> that's another one. They always want you to sit in the back on the lift rides, which is it's cool. Uh, getting in and out of it wasn't a problem. I, I got in in and out real easy. The, the terrible thing on most of the cars now, it could be just be me because my arms don't work as good as they used to, is trying to get the seat belt and then getting the seat belt plugged in. They want you to use seat belts, but they make it so difficult to use. So the seat belts on that thing was terrible. And the other thing, it was like riding on a buckboard also. Them Toyotas there, they build them durable. And I personally think they just make them a little bit too durable because I, I did not like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even consider one now. Forget it. There's, there's no way in a million years I would have anything to do with one. Sitting in the front seat, you're good. Because we have, uh, my wife's friend drove us to church a few times, and uh, she has one. And uh, front seat's fine. You, you don't take the beating. You know, but nothing, nothing was as bad as that new vehicle, the Trax. And uh, I asked that fella that drove to this morning, I says, oh, how long you had it? He says, two years old. You know what was funny about it? It sounded like a 40-year-old car. It squeaks and rattles and all kinds of crazy stuff going on in the back of that thing. 
and it was loud when we were driving down the highway. I could, even with the windows up, I couldn't talk to the guy. It was so loud inside the cabin, just car noise. And you could hear everything outside. So, you know, that that's a an absolute do not buy vehicle, if you ask me. But this, there seems to be a lot of them out there. I started, after I rode one, I started noticing, noticing them everywhere. But did my went down and did my uh, blood work. I had all my stuff done at the hospital. And uh, the, ma the head doctor came in again. He said he, went, he wanted to see me before I went home. And he's, he's like, it's gone. He says, you're, you know, it's that last course of stuff, fix it. So that's that was really good news. I still feel weak. I got, uh, with the kidney disease, it's making my red blood cells go down. They had a medicine that they gave me last week. And uh, for a day, I went, you know, it's to increase your red blood cell. And I went right up to full power. Felt good for a day. I was, nope, the backache was gone. I felt pretty good. <clears throat> but then the next day, I'm back the way I am now. So I'm not, I'm not, I don't think I'm back yet. They seem to think I am. So it, but that's just the way that goes. And uh, we'll, we'll see. And then as I go, I got another appointment Friday and another one next month. They're going to be doing me Fridays and Mondays now. They're going to start me on uh, physical therapy. That's going to be over close, close to me over here in Parma. Because I'd like to be able to put my own socks on, you know, <laughs> and tie my own shoes. So hopefully they can get me all stretched out, see if I can get in there to see a chiropractor too. I, I wasn't thinking about chiropractor, but when I sat in that massage chair on the trip, how that thing just was moving my spine around. And uh, it does. it's a pretty strong machine, these, these chairs you sit in on the turnpike. And... Uh, I wished I had one, but uh, I'm going to see if they can do, get a chiropractor also to get in there and keep loosen my bones up a little bit so I can get my flexibility back. But uh, but that's pretty much where we're at now. Me, Hyundai Elantra hybrid, I would buy one of those in a second. What a nice car. I don't know how long lasting they are. I had, uh, I had two Kias. I had a Kia Rio 2004, put over 100,000 miles on it. Uh, work, work car. I just kept it for work. Kept it, took the passenger seat out and the back seats out, and it was my tool buggy. And then uh, I also had a uh, Sedona. The Sedona. I didn't like the Sedona though, because uh, the switch on the lights, the the dealer wouldn't fix it. I don't know why, but I kept going in. It was one of those leave the lights on for thirty seconds, and there's a dial on there where you're supposed to be able to turn it to where you turn it over to off, and then when you shut the key off, the headlights are supposed to go out. Well, that that never did work. And I told him, look, I, I want that to work. I don't like it. So I, that car, the battery was dead a lot of times because it never shut the headlights off and uh, come out in dead battery. Glad I had two cars at the time and had the motorcycles. So, you know, that thing was, that was the only thing wrong with it, though, but it, it had a, 3800 motor in it and it rode nice uh it was a nice van it was a nice a nice little van kia and hyundai same company like you know ford mercury uh they, they do they're doing a pretty good job and uh the prices are there and the warranty is there you know the, the guy said it's got a 10-year warranty on it i was like wow that's like chrysler did when iacocca took over and the cars weren't selling he threw a 10-year warranty on that. Didn't change anything else. Didn't make them better. Just threw a 10-year warranty on it. People people don't want the headaches. They don't want to have to pay down the road. You want to buy your car, get it, and drive. You know, you don't want to dick around with them all the time and have, you know, out-of-pocket money unexpectedly. And uh, he did that 10-year warranty and turned Chrysler around. Now Chrysler's, you know. We got a guy over here has one that uh, I call it the Pumpkin. It's a charger. It looks, it's a nice looking car. It looks like the old ones. And, uh, you know, I'd like to see them make them a little more modern, but they're, they're doing that now. They're starting to change all the cars that way. Or, you know, going back to the old style, what's sold in the past. So, but that's about all I got for today. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. And this is.